Okay, now, just so everybody knows, the wall thickness of this type L copper has been diminished. So, as you can see right here, I'm at 0 0.0295. So, let's take a look at what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be 0 0.0295. Four, that's what it's supposed to be. As you can tell, it's not that thick anymore. So, the wall thickness has changed on this pipe and has gotten thinner. And you can see at the top it's thicker, down here at this section it's thinner. So, this is type L copper, and most people are not aware that copper pipe has a seam in it, but it does. So, I, we're going to try to get some shots and get an image of what's going on. This has little microscopic volcanoes on the inside of it, and they're all in a row because little bitty um, micro leaks are happening. Small microscopic amounts of water are getting out and microscopic amounts of oxygen are getting in. And that's what's causing these volcanoes inside. This is normal wear and tear on copper pipes. Now, the reason I wanted you to see the wall thickness has changed dramatically on this type L copper. See, it's the dark blue lettering. It's because most people in America are not aware of what copper poisoning is. For instance, did you know that the United States government acknowledged for the first time in 1984 that copper pipes are toxic and most people in America are not aware of that. So the very first case acknowledged by the United States government was a family of four in which three of the family members suffered from copper poisoning. So what happens is the chlorine and ammonia that are going through the pipes from the water municipalities is called breakpoint chlorination, eat away at the inside of this pipe. It's called leaching or etching. No matter which term you choose to use, the leaching or etching allows copper uh, to get into the water, which then gets into you and poisons you. So, how long does it take for the water inside of this pipe to become toxic from copper piping? It takes eight hours. There are municipalities in the United States that will tell you that when you get up in the morning, the first thing you should do is turn all your hot and cold water lines on and purge the system because overnight your copper pipes became toxic. I don't think I've ever met anybody who actually does that, but that's how long it takes, approximately eight hours for the water that's in this pipe to become toxic from ammonia and chlorine, otherwise known as breakpoint chlorination. So I wanted to show you what the water from the municipalities and what breakpoint chlorination does to actual type L copper piping. So because this is type L copper is number one in slab leaks. All copper under a slab is type L copper. So when you hear the term slab leak, that is always 100% of the time a type L copper failure. Inside the walls it could be M or L or K, but it doesn't really matter. The water 
is toxic and it has been known about since 1984. So the real question becomes, how come this isn't information that you're already aware of? Since 1984, you should have been notified that all copper pipe is toxic. So, anyway, the pipe wall gets thinner and thinner as the ammonia and the chlorine etch away at the pipe. Uh, it gives a copper toxicity into the water. You use the water, it enters into your system, and you have a whole host of side effects. So, etching, leaching, no matter what you want to call it, the ammonia, chlorine, otherwise known as breakpoint chlorination, it's what's causing copper toxicity. So, um, if you want to, or if you get a chance to look up um, what copper poisoning is inside of water, look at uh, the effects that it has. Um, babies with diaper rashes, babies that can't sleep and crawl, cry all night for no known reason, gastrointestinal issues. Uh, look them up and you'll find out they're all very, very real and they're all caused by the copper pipes in your house. Now, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to get a lot of feedback on that. I expect to get feedback on it and I'm available 24 hours a day to discuss this. I would love to get somebody um, to do a Skype or Zoom um, debate with me over these issues. Um, so I thought I had a couple of guys that were willing to debate me and uh, after talking to me for a few minutes they backed out of the deal. So it's copper poisoning. Um, it's been going on probably in your whole life and I'm just making you aware of it. Now it's not the only thing that's been going on your whole life you don't know about yet. I'll disclose those other things to you in a video. We'll do them one at a time. I'm available at any time to debate this with anybody. Uh, my name is Joe Ludlow. You can reach me at 949-340-4900. 949-340-4900. Call me at any time. I'd love to debate you over this. Copper poisoning. Uh, have a good day.